Oh, nice. oh wow. Oh, no, 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 no. We got it back. Watch the roll, watch the roll, watch the roll. Watch the roll, watch the roll. Yep. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And what a game we have here tonight. A potential sweep of this series. It's game four of the Western Conference semifinals. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's Edwards. And it's Williams in at the four. And for Phoenix, Durant and Aiton are up front. The deadly duo of Beal and Booker at the one and the two. And it's Houston in at the three. to start out. And here's Booker. Pass to Aiden. Here's Houston. Six to shoot. The Suns need to get off a shot. Beal from outside. Alexander. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your sons. What's stop? Bradley Beal has been one of the most consistent scorers in the game. his first one. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Durant. Pass to Booker. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. And the wingspan coming into play for SGA, just getting on top of that one. draft, you think about those names, Doncic, Young, Aiton, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Shea Gilgis Alexander. Boy, that's a lot to begin with. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Booker, pass to Beal. against Valanciunas. On the wing, Durant. Pass to Beal. Over Gilgis Alexander. Phoenix no good that time either. That's exactly how you want to see defense play. Got it right up in his space the bottom of the shot. That's going to make any scorer uncomfortable when you get that aggressive. Here's Houston. Nice dish. And the layup goes down. So dynamic with the ball. Durant showing his versatility with that dish. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The shot no good. Ooh, excellent D there from Eaton. Booker 
against Giddy. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. The Thunder have gone one for three so far. Outside, Williams. The kick out to Edwards. Just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Field. Two points. That one goes. Field's got six. Well, Beal can really score just about anywhere. Don't be surprised when he knocks down shots from the mid range. Eight against Valentunas. And they call an illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And so it's Dayton with it. He brings it up for the Suns. Pass to Durant. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Nice D from Valanciunas. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. Good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Go to Alexander at 6'5. Can be an effective rebound. It's gone here in the first. Phoenix calls timeout. And real quick, let's check out the field goal percentage leaders in the postseason. Number one, DeAndre Ayton. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. Booker against Giddy. The three is up. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. Let him go to the line with a chance for three. Second team might as well throw up the points. Booker shot 90% from the free throw line during the regular season. Three shots. Three shots. And he's good on the first of three. Well, known as one of the purest scorers in the game, Booker's main focus remains competing for championships. Joe's checked in for Giddy. On the second one. And he makes all three. Oklahoma City trailing. Outside, Gilgis Alexander cranked it in off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got nine points. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Yep, that one goes. <laughs> Oklahoma City, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Here's Williams. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. And that's exactly how you attack length. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Now here's Booker. He's got five to the inside. 
Here's Aiden. And there's a three-second violation. Three second violation. For Oklahoma City, they've gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Phil just Alexander passes to Williams. Oh, they get a hand on it. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. And so here's Phoenix. It's Beal on the wing. Phil just Alexander defending. Williams against Durant. And Edwards slams it in. And that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now here's Beal. Give him eight. From seven feet away. Oh, it's blocked by Valanchunas. How about that 7-6 wingspan of Valanchunas? That helps him erase the shot. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition. And that helps get the rhythm going. Nice shot by Durant. Being on the clinic tonight, Durant can use either hand to break you down off the dribble. Coach is Alexander, a good look. And again, it's Oklahoma City. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific group right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And here are the Suns now. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Oh, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Here's Edwards. Pass to Williams. Here's Joe. No points yet. Valanchunas with it. He's covered by Aiden. Valanchunas, good. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Now here's Durant. Outside Booker. And it's off from three-point range. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Oh, and the jam by Aiton! Now, if Aiton continues to play with that kind of effort, possession by possession, he's a real tough cover. Oklahoma City calls timeout. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Azubuki, he's checked in for Aiton. Bamba comes in for Durant. Bates Diop, he's checked in for Houston. And it's Lee in for Devin Booker. Dort, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Dort from the arc. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. And the Thunder lead by five. Phoenix has gone one or two from three point land so far. Pass to Beal. Here's Azubuki. Williams defending. Azabuki, no good. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. Here's Joe. It's hauled in by Beal. The Suns have gone 7 of 16 so far. Back to Lee. Just five to shoot. Bates Diop, a deep three. The Thunder pull it in. Gilgis Alexander with a ball. He's got 11. The rebound by Bamba. The Suns trailing. Here's Bates Diop. Pass to Bamba. Let's it go from deep. Bates Diop with the bucket. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. And here are the Thunder now. Now here's Holmgren. Now Dort. Here's Joe. Back to Dort. From 
behind the arc. And Chet does a really good job of establishing that position inside, ultimately forcing the defense to foul. At the line for the photo, Chet Holmgren, two shots. throw good from Holmgren. Holmgren's physical gifts are pretty impressive. His length and his height make him a threat under the hoop on both ends of the floor. Both free throws good from Holmgren. Phoenix has gone two for four from range to start things off. Beal outside. That shot is off. Good work defensively by Dort. <laughs> the way they've gotten at the rebounds has been impressive. Tries again. And it's good on the layup. So Dort's got a second bucket on the night. And Dort just plays with a lot of heart out there, willing to throw himself around and outworking the opponent that time. Pass to Lee. Over Gilgis Alexander. Ooh, some solid defense from Gilgis Alexander. Thunder with a lead. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two Williams minutes. with it. Inside, Dort. Bates Diop with a rebound. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Minute 39 left to play in the first quarter. Azabuki, pass to Lee. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bamba. The Thunder pull it in. Dort, left side. Back to William. To the paint. Here's Holgren. Can't hit that time. Well, the Suns shooting just 38% so far in this one. Beal outside. Pass to Bamba. Here's Lee. He'll just Alexander defending. Here's Asabuki. Over Williams. Here's Bamba. Holmgren with the block. Unreal stretch from Holmgren there. Allows him to alter or block a shot just about every time someone's in his area. Practically a block. <laughs> Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Here's Bates Diop. And here is Bamba. Beal surveying the D to stop the drought. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Holmgren's got four rebounds now. Down low. Here's Williams. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Oklahoma City Thunder. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We'll be right back with you shortly. as this exciting Western Conference semifinal game rolls on. And for the Thunder guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there.
And Kitty has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They lead by eight. Biggest lead of the game. Two great players inside. They have KD and eight. Saban Lee is out there with Devin Booker. And it's Houston in at the small forward position. That's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. Clock at six. And Durant with the block. Durant covering a lot of territory with his length. Here's Aiton, and that comes off the assist by Durant. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. The kick out to Williams. And another shot. It's hauled in by the Suns. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. Oh, impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Now here's Holmgren. Pass to Edwards. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Fades. And Aiden pulls it down. The Sun's trailing. Here's Houston, and the lamp is good off the glass. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 11 points in the game from deep Giddy. Knocks down the triple. Giddy. Giddy's got five points. Solid coverage on Giddy, and he still gets the job done. Pass to Durant. Here's Houston, guarded by Edwards. Top of the key. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got six rebounds in the game. To the middle. Williams against Durant. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Here's Lee. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got four rebounds now. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. First Lots of times foul. you don't mind fouling a big, but Aiton's a solid foul shooter. DeAndre. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. Shoot the two. attack can come from a lot of ways, either execution or by just getting on the bounce and driving it in, and that's where they've been very effective tonight. And he knocks down the first one. Well, Aiden and efficiency go hand in hand. I mean, this guy's field goal percentage is on cloud nine. The Thunder making a switch here. Alan Chunas has checked in. Aiden hits them both. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 11 points in the game. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. This is who's leading the charge when it comes to rebounding here in the postseason. Fifth best, Jonas Valanciunas. His awareness around the rim has really been impressive lately. It's obvious he knows every possession is important in the playoffs. Booker against Kitty. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. hayton has got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Lee. Back to Booker. And here's Aiden. Valanciunas covering. Five on the clock. The outside leaner. Here's Aiden. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Williams finds Kitty. 
over Booker. And that one's good. Giddy. Giddy's got five points now in the quarter. Now that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. Booker surveying the D. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Just another part of Devin Booker's amazing offensive game. He finds wide open guys. Gilgis Alexander passes to Valanciunas. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. That one doesn't drop. He's 4 for 10 from the field now. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Duran earning those two points. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Gilgis Alexander passes to Valanciunas. Giddy with it. Seven points in the game. Three-pointer, no good. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for OKC. So slippery in there. Gilgis Alexander makes great adjustments to get what he wants. First team foul. At the line for the Thunder, Shea Gilgis Alexander taking two shots. No good on the free throw. he's good on the second for Phoenix they've gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second looking good Lee the pass to Houston Aiden in the high post Valanciunas on him here's Durant again the Sun's good for two KD unafraid to get to the mid-range and he can get there at will Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Here's Williams. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. The Suns have gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. Booker, the pass to Lee. Aiden against Valanciunas. Shot clock at six. Shot is up. Goes up again. The Thunder with the rebound. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Valanciunas against Durant. Pass to Booker. He shoots. Well, he's now two for seven after that bucket. Oklahoma City shooting only 31% in the second quarter of this one. Giddy passes to Edwards. Outside, Williams. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Six to shoot. Bucket number five. He's five for 12 now. He's making plays all over the floor. Gilgis Alexander will not be stopped. Phoenix calls timeout. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Azabuki, he's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Bamba comes in for Durant. Bates Diop, he's checked in for Houston. And it's Beal in for Lee. Williams is checked in for Oklahoma City. Lou Dort comes in for Williams. Fluid shooting motion with Devin Booker. So effortless. Dort outside. Back 
to Giddy. Dort finds Giddy. Excellent D there from Booker. Phoenix is shooting around 44%. Not bad. Bates D out. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got three assists in the game. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. Now here's Dort. He's got five. And it's Azubuki with the rebound. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. And good heads up from Bradley Beal just spots the ready shooter. Oklahoma City trailing. Pass to Edwards. Here's the floater. And the shot's good. Edwards got his third bucket of the night. He picks the exact right moment to get himself a clear line to the basket. Beal, the pass to Booker. Here's Asabuki. Williams defending. Here's Dort. Soft touch off the glass. The assist. So Dort's got seven points. And that's really quick processing by Dort, putting him in prime position, making him the go-to option on the break. Now here's Booker. He's got nine. Off to Mark with the outside fadeaway. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. And here's Dort. Shoots. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. What's Dort out there? 215, 220 at the guard position. He'll throw it around. A different look for Oklahoma City. Holmgren comes in for Edwards. And Joe subbed in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Lugan's Dort continues to find ways to impress you and expand his offensive game, but he knows he's coming to the league as a defender and he takes a tremendous amount of pride in it. Now here's Booker. Azabuki, pass to Bates Dio. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Outside Giddy, and he drives in. Down low. Here's Holmgren. Nails the baby hook. And the Thunder lead by three. And a sturdy move from Chet against that defense that was closing on him. Beal right side. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds in the game. To the paint. And stolen by Bamba. Throws it up high. Hey, great communication on the lob. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. Now here's Holmgren. To the left wing. Jacks up a three. Pure from three-point range. Great job of just reading the defense by Holmgren. He just gets it. A minute 29 left in the first half of this one. Here's Beal. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Holmgren's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Giddy. The offensive rebound. No good. He's missed five of his eight attempts. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Beal. Inside. And stolen by Holmgren. Dort outside. 41 seconds left in the first half of this game. Shot clock at five. Fires, top of the key. Offensive board. Holmgren. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Here's Booker. The Thunder pull it in. Not his best night, and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Holmgren, the pass to Giddy. Pulls 
comes up. Had the space there, but it's offline. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Thunder. They're up by four. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. So one half completed in this round two conference semifinal game. Ernie Johnson with Shaq and Kenny the Jet will be breaking down all the action. For the Thunder, although this series has gone about as poorly as possible for them, they're still hanging tough here tonight. No team likes to get swept, and maybe, just maybe, they can avoid that fate with a strong second half. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. We have to recognize their principles. Sometimes we overlook the second half. But tonight, they've been the key. The coaching staff has got to be loving this. Getting that extra boost is huge. Chat, what'd you think about Phoenix? It was a great display of team ball. Plus than five individuals out there, it was one cohesive unit sharing the rock. Not only does that make it harder to guard, it makes the game more enjoyable to watch. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Welcome you back to game four, folks. Thanks for joining us. So it's the Thunder now. They lead by four. And on the floor for Mark Dagnall starting the second half. They've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Also Josh Giddy out there. Jonas Valanciunas out there with Edwards. And it's Williams in at the four-man position. Here's Booker. The Thunder making their last shot. Count it. <laughs> Great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball, high key play. Back to Kitty. He nails it. That's his fifth Giddy. making 11 tries. Not afraid to try his luck down there. Giddy on the interior. Booker against Kitty. Pass to Houston. There's the three. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Giddy. And he's six for 12 after that one. The handle of Giddy is something to behold. The Suns trailing. Outside Durant. Some solid defense from Williams. And so it's Edwards who brings up the ball for Oklahoma City. Pass to Valentunas. Now here's Williams, guarded by Duran. Now here's Valentunas. Six on the shot clock. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Only their first miss in four attempts. It's been a great start to the half. And count it! The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. That was just great work to battle through contact and will in the shot. The Suns making a switch here. Beals checked in. At the line for one, Houston. have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Edwards. And he's going for the lob! Nice catch and finish on the lob. And the Thunder lead by seven. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Here's Beal. No good there. Good work defensively by Gilgis Alexander. Here's Williams. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And it's a nine-point Thunder lead. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Williams against Durant. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. 
Down to five on the shot clock. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I think he just has a great feel for what the defender is thinking. Durant using the up fake there to draw the foul. the line for Phoenix. Kevin Durant. Free throws good from Durant. One of the things you gotta admire about Kevin Durant is his ability just to continue to focus on playing basketball. This guy is a true hooper. And he makes both free throws. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now here's Giddy. He's got 13. Basket counts. Giddy. Giddy's got eight points in the quarter. Oh boy, the touch is coming back here in the second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. Get some space and parries the jumper. The Thunder have gone six of seven and appearing confident in this half. Here's Williams. Denied by Durant. Deal against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Aiton. Valanchunas with a rebound. Oklahoma City has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Oklahoma City. Shea Gilgis Alexander at the line for one. Find the lane. Find the lane. No shot. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Outside Durant. This one for three. The Thunder pull it in. Gilgis Alexander's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Williams. Here's Valanchunas. Hits a three-pointer. Valanchunas has got five points. Well, Valanchun is extending his range more and more and getting more consistent. He can knock him down. Booker with it. He's picked up by Edwards. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Lee, he's checked in for Devin Booker. Coming onto the floor for your sons, Saban Lee. Alexander with a steal. Takes one from 10 feet. Ooh, Gilgis Alexander. Turn it on the Jets. Gilgis Alexander positioning himself well and knew exactly where to get to in the open space. Deal against Valanchunas. Oklahoma City foul. Edwards. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Thunder on D. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Just four to shoot. To stop the run. And that's the kind of in-your-face defense that's setting the tone for SGA and the rest of this team. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Giddy against Beal. Shoots from 12, and that one's good. Giddy. Giddy's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. Hey, guess what? Mission accomplished. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win.
The top scorers in the playoffs on our 2K leaderboard. Shea Gilgis Alexander on top. And of course, Devin Booker. Seems like these two can always find points, no matter what big game pressure they're playing under. Here's Lee. Outside Durant. Pass to Houston. Here's Lee. Gilgis Alexander defending. Three on the clock. Durant for three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Valanchunas has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Outside Giddy. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. That's a bad miscue, but I think they've done a really good job keeping control of the ball throughout the game. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. And so it's Aiton with it. He brings it up for the Suns. Trailing by 17. Pass to Durant. Over Williams. Phoenix no good that time either. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Lee, the pass to Beal. To get back on track. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. And Bradley Beal right there just using the force to get to the free throw line. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Thunder? Well, not content to take what the defense gives them. I mean, they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside. And they've also done a great job of just taking what the defense is giving them. Teams willing to give up a mid-range, take them, knock them down. They've done it. He misses the free throw. Azubuki, he's checked in for the Suns. And the Thunder making a change here. He hits the second from the line. Oklahoma City has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Outside, Williams. Let's it go. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Williams has got his second basket. And they just continue to sharpen their offense here in the second half. Pass to Azubuki. Beal outside, takes the three, and it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Williams from long range. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Beal with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending with a step back. Beal, that one's good. Beal's got 11 points. And this is why you want to involve Bradley Beal in the pick and rolls. Really good execution there. Oklahoma City's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Aiden pulls it down. Phoenix has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Here's Beal. And the basket is good. He's got 13. Well, Bradley Beal can mix it up offensively, and he gets to the inside this time to score. Up top, Holmgren. Over Beal. The Suns clear it. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. And he recovers it. Eight and inside. Give him eight. Sinks that one from the post. That gives him a double-double in this one. He's done everything he can tonight, trying to keep this team competitive. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. 
Now here's Williams. Uses the glass on the layup. And the Thunder lead by 16. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. Here's Lee. Pocket six. That one's good for two. Well, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. This is again just four for ten from the floor. The Suns shooting 39% from the field in the third. Beal outside. Pass to Lee. Here's Hasabuki. Williams grabs the board. Here's Joe. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Second. It's going to be on Bradley Beal. Team foul. At the line for the Thunder, Isaiah Joe. free throw is good. Bomba's checked in for Phoenix. Booker comes in for Lee. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Booker has got the Two ball here for Phoenix. It's a 16-point game. A minute 53 left in the third quarter here. Just a perfect pass. And some pretty slick body control on the finish, too. Damn, that's butter. Here's Joe. Booker defending. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Shoots over Beal. A nice Gilgis shot by Gilgis Alexander. Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 21 points in the game. Beal against Gilgis Alexander. 11 feet out. Over and with the block. And the official's now calling the shooting foul. He got a lot of ball on that block shot, but also got the body. So some free throws coming up right now. Can't get the first one. Giddy's checked in for Joe. And he sinks the second. Minute 15 left in the third quarter. To the inside, Williams. This shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Williams has got six here in the quarter. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Now here's Bamba. Beal outside. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. Here's Giddy. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. And Giddy at his size can get to the inside and make some things happen. That time drawing a foul. the line for two. Shooting two.
The first one falls. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. So hits one and misses one at the line. And part of his game that he's still working on, Giddy growing at the line. Here's Booker. Giddy with a defensive effort. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Yeah, just hold for the last shot. Don't give them another possession at all. Yeah, hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Shoots off the step back, and there's Gilgis Alexander on the assist from Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander's got nine points now in the quarter. Now Booker uses the glass to finish the layup. Finishes like that are pretty impressive from Devin Booker, who we know is a great outside shooter. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder, a sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. Back to the game after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Kevin Durant. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Mo Bamba. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Houston in at the shooting guard position. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Are you serious? <laughs> what a sweet move. Broke his ankles on that one. Here's Giddy. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. The kick out to Williams. The free ball. The Suns clear it. And here's Booker. Pass to Bamba. Back to Booker. Inside. Ooh, against inside resistance. Booker still good. Booker firing on all cylinders, and this guy is one of the toughest in the NBA to slow down. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Edwards with it. Here's Williams. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. And that's out of bounds. Oklahoma City will keep it. And the Thunder making a change here. Alan Junis has checked in. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Five to shoot. And stolen by Booker. And the Suns pushing it up now. Left side Durant. And it's Durant gliding in for the fast break finish. KD took some time there, measured up the situation. And knew when to get his shot up. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Well, overall, he has played basically flawless basketball, but uh, that was a bad turnover. For Phoenix, they've gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Here's Houston. Pass to Booker. And there's the lob. And Peyton with the stuff. What a finish by Aiton using those long arms to snatch that pass up high. Gilgis Alexander passes to Valanciunas. Shoots over Aiton. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Nice work defensively. Leading him up top and forcing the miss. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Aiton. That's foul number two for him. I love great defense. Just 
quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hi, guys. Well, Mark Diagnault was just reviewing the plan with his team. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. Keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. As always, Allie, we thank you. Terrific feed from Valentunas, a big man scanning the deck. Booker, the pass to Aiden. Here's Houston. Giddy defends. And the Suns get another three. This first half performance, somewhat forgettable. But now he's pouring it on. Filters Alexander against Booker. Pass to Edwards. Over Durant. Edwards can't hit. And it's Phoenix's ball. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace for three. Booker. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got four assists now tonight. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. They led the game at one point by 20. Misses from close range. For Phoenix, they've gotten all six shots to fall in the fourth quarter. Eight passes to Houston. Deflected. Nice rejection from Giddy. And he recovers it. Oh, man. The defender really went after him. First team foul. At the line for Phoenix. Houston. First free throw is good. And so he hits both. Thunder with a lead. Edwards, a pass to Gilgis Alexander. SGA from distance. Oh, that jumper is so pure. Gilgis Alexander with great confidence. And he lobs it up to the rim. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Booker. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Oklahoma City has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Giddy into the lane. Valanchunas passes to Giddy. Outside, Williams. To the middle. Here's Valanchunas. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Here's Houston. Giddy defends. Houston passes to Durant. Over Edwards. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Third personal foul. And that one right there, that's the play with KD and that rip through. That move is so good that the league started to consider how they'd rewrite the rule book for guys reaching in. Falls for him. Yeah. 
And both free throws good for Durant. It felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Now here's Giddy. And it's in there. Giddy's got 22 points. Uh, he's been incredible in this half. Anytime he pulls up from outside, you think that's bottoms. Booker against Gilgis Alexander. Knocked loose. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Mamba, pass to Aiden. Just five on the clock. Let's it go from the wing. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. At the line for your sons, Kevin Durant. And he drops the first. It's both from the stripe. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Williams. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Durant against Edwards. Durant, pass to Bamba. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got five assists in the game. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points for the quarter. Houston passes to Booker. That shot off the mark. Ooh, some solid defense from Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Williams. Down low. Phoenix grabs the miss. Bamba's got rebound number five here tonight. Booker against Valanchunas. Goes up at the strike. Oh, Booker in close. He's giving his all here in the fourth. Sinking four or five shots. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Giddy. Now Valanchunas. Ooh, Aiden with the block. Aiden flashing some good movement there and great timing. Now Booker. Giddy defends. Booker, pass to Durant. Back to Booker. To the paint. Here's Aiden. Lays it up and in despite excellent defense. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for Phoenix. Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and squatting down plenty of shots. I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Nice D from Valanchunas. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Unloads. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Phoenix has gone 4-4 four four from outside during the fourth. Williams against Bamba. Pass to Houston. On the wing, Duran. Oh, KD! Making the bigs feel his presence. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Here's Edwards. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got four assists now tonight. 
Phoenix calls Phoenix. timeout. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You gotta make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. All right, we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Devin Booker. I don't think you can understate how important his performance has been. Passing like a point guard, keeping the defense on their toes all game. And I just love how he takes pride in that part of his game. And he can be very, very proud of his performance tonight. in his 20th rebound. Oh, <laughs> just dominating three. the glass. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Oklahoma City trailing. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Phoenix grabs the miss. Houston's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Booker. Booker will not be denied. They have no answer defensively inside. Gilgis Alexander against Beal. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got 18 points in just the second half. Gilgis Alexander coming through big time. Booker for three. Valanciunas with a rebound. Alan Junis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Williams. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Any play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Oklahoma City. Williams at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. it up and his next one could give him the lead and the free throw is good now leading by one Phoenix has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Here's Williams. And Durant with the block. Pass to Houston. There's the block. Beal against Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Beal. A nice shot by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 34. He wants the ball, has a flair for the dramatic, unfazed in big situations. Durant against Williams. Eight inside. Good! Now seven for 11 on the night. How about that? Eight and showing why he was picked first overall. That's a reason. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Deal against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Giddy. And here's Valentunas. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Pounded by Beal. Pocket four. Fade away. Doesn't go for him. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. And this guy wants those kind of shots. That's Devin Booker. Wow. 
Alexis Alexander against Peel. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's closely guarded. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Here's Booker. That one no good. Giddy with a defensive effort. And Giddy has got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Valentunas. And he sinks it. And that one brings him within one. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. Love seeing that. They're a huge possession, and he nets it. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Booker can't get it to go. And the Thunder call time here. They're behind by one. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth. And please give a big round of applause for your son, you hit team. A critical possession with time winding down. Yep, this is their moment. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Face away. Oh, he missed it. And they committed an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. superstar in this league. Beal looking to help his team close strong. They need these points badly. So he gets them both. And it's a three-point game. Huge free throws. Bumps the lead up to three and now they simply have to guard against the three ball. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. They're down by three. Eight seconds left in the fourth. Alexander. Oh, denied by Durant. Oh, return to sender. Stopped it and grabs a rock. One man stop. And so the Phoenix Suns have won the series. It's a clean sweep. They have no issues winning the series. They're off to the conference finals. And they're playing with such confidence. I think they might be playing the best basketball of anyone in the league. They're a force. They never gave up on themselves. Everyone gave 110%, and they slowly but surely fought their way back. Time for us to say goodbye. We hope you enjoyed our second-round coverage of the NBA West.